So this video is an update to my Arduino Ready PSK transceiver that I've been working on. I finally managed to get my filter board etched and uh, I've got it all assembled in an open wooden uh, case here. I did this because I'm still tweaking and still refining it and still experimenting with it and uh, this allows me uh, quick and easy access to the boards. So here at the bottom you can see the uh, the board that's doing the analog filtering that I etched. Uh, here's the board that's doing the front end bandpass fil filter and as well as doing the TXRX switch. And you can see the Kanga Shields, Kanga uh, Paul Darlington Shields there that's doing the uh, direct conversion receiver and transmitter. And I put the uh, voltage display so I could see the voltage that's coming in to the Arduino. So my I've uh, mounted three LEDs. The first LED uh, blinks to, to just tell me it's operating. The second L LED uh, comes on when it's transmitting and this this LED comes on when it's uh, clipping and I've got three push buttons which allow me to change uh, the function. I've got the red button is uh, the execute button and the uh, two buttons here are up and down buttons which allow me to cycle through my my menu options and I have got a if we go back to the top menu there is an LCD test display which sort of runs through all the various displays and layout of my screen. You can see it going through the various menu options and you can see the the frequency display as well as it's displaying how the characters will look. So there it's gone back to operational mode. So as I had before, as I explained in a previous video, I've got three screens. The middle part of the screen here is showing me the data, the frequency output and some indicators about the signal that's giving me the relative signal strength and the relative correlation strength. So this is the top level menu which allows me to, to select various functions and I have got a RX menu and I have got a TX menu but uh, the TX menu only comes on when it's transmitting and I don't want to make it transmit because it's not connected to a dummy load. So now I'm going to do a test and I'm going to have it receive ready and PSK signals. So here's my ICOM. It's generating, uh, right now it's generating a ready signal that's coming out and uh, there's a signal there being decoded uh, on my screen if I could get it to focus and uh, if I move my little antenna close to my dummy load which the ICOM is transmitting into you'll see the clipping indicator coming on meaning that the signal coming in is too strong and uh, the op amps are clipping so as I move the the aerial away from my dummy load you'll see the clipping indicator uh, disappear and you can see the messages there being uh, decoded, the RIDI messages being decoded and with RIDI I'm getting uh, darn close to a hundred percent decode it's still clipping a little bit there So let's uh, try it with PSK. So here's FL Digi that's communicating with my uh, ICOM and uh, it's going to generate a PSK uh, test message. So I've got, I've got it generating the PSK message there and if you take a look at the message coming out you'll see it's not that good. It's uh, you know maybe I'm getting 
50 or 60 percent of the characters being decoded and so this doesn't really work that well with uh, PSK but with uh, Ridi it's uh, it's pretty much rock solid and I can change the sort of the squelch level here and uh, sometimes I can get it to get a uh, much better decode rate by just changing the uh, the various levels that I'm going to be using and uh, here's the uh, PSK decode and uh, it really needs a very strong signal coming in in order for it to decode it and even then I'm not getting a hundred percent I'm probably getting you know somewhere around a sixty percent uh, decode rate which is not too bad for an 8-bit 16 megahertz Arduino the other thing I found is that uh, when FL Digi um, is transmitting PSK. It's doing traf uh, signal shaping. It's actually sh uh, shaping the signal coming out. It doesn't abruptly change the carrier, and I think that makes a huge difference in terms of uh, how well it's going to um, uh, decode PSK. For example, I built my uh, Arduino signal generator here and uh, for RIDI it works uh, perfectly it's uh, able to decode the RIDI messages that this is uh, generating but it can't decode very well the PSK messages and that's because this signal generator I built uh, is not doing any sort of uh, shaping of the signals coming out it's, it's abruptly uh, turning on and turning off carriers and abruptly changing the phase of uh, the carrier so, and I think uh, this transceiver doesn't uh, uh, like that very much. So anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.